garden so that we can really enjoy them. They are the sweetest little guys. They are. Uh, this is the first one we've brought you that I believe is all glass. It is. And it's very easy to clean. It's beautiful, even if it's just something that you want to hang on your tree limb uh, or on a uh, shepherd's hook yes. or uh, a hook from your awning because it's all glass and it's beautiful yard art, but it's actually got a function uh, feeding the hummingbirds and attracting them to your yard. It you can does. choose between the red one that you're seeing there or we have one that's clear with, with red flower blossoms, which are the actual feeder tubes because they are attracted to the red. Uh, two easy payments today of $14.73 and brand new. I have to tell you, this is a stunning piece for your garden and it's brought to us by Evergreen, who really knows how to give you beautiful finishing touches for your garden. Mm -hmm. But this piece is a substantial, yeah. gorgeous, piece that is going to last for generation upon generation because it's made out of that beautiful molded glass and each one of the flowers are hand blown. Oh wow. And so no two are going to be alike but we've done those in that color red. Of course you have your option of the actual bell feeder to be red or white or clear. The, okay. The clear but the flowers are, each one of them are going to be that red tone. Now, each one also has a removable funnel so that you can take that out and simply put the nectar in or rinse it out. You okay. have three feeding stations that are in there. And again, it holds 32 ounces. That's huge. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Well, it looks like milk glass. Can you it guys does. For, for my Grammys and pop ups that are watching, we remember this from the 1940s. I absolutely love that milk glass. And at the, certainly Beautiful. it's not white, but it's got the same little bumpies on it, which I love that texture. So it looks very vintage. And then uh, you have your red. Let me show you the clear. Yeah, as well. look on the clear there. Um, you can really see that. Let's pop show them of next red. to each other. Sure. Uh, because on the clear, your hummingbirds are still going to be attracted. By the way, the picture we showed you showed red uh, nectar. You don't have to put that red dye in there. You can just no. make sugar water. We'll tell you how to do that. Exactly. And you can also get that pure nectar from your feeding store, yeah. like from a, from a pet store. They actually have that. But, but the, no, don't put dye in it. Yeah, don't, you don't need the red liquid right. because you have the red flowers. But exactly. we just thought we'd give you a clear option, which you can really see that looks very vintage. Uh, there are only... There are only 400 left to go around in the clear. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, so these are very quickly. popular. So show us how to fill them up and sure. stuff like that. Sure, okay, so it comes with an excess hook that you can kind of see there. When you're filling this, all you're gonna do is simply remove one of those little uh, funnels that are in each one of the flowers. And that way you can clean it easily as well. Remember, this is a piece that you don't have to worry about it fading. You don't have to worry about it, you know, getting all yucky. It's gonna mm -hmm. stay gorgeous from year after year after year. It's a way that we can feed our little friends, which by the way, you use four parts water, one part uh, of sugar. sugar. My mother always says, if you make it sweeter, the more the more of them will come to you. But I just had a conversation with Eric Wallin that said, if you make it sweeter, they don't have to feed as often, ah. which means that if you have a ton of them that are feeding, they can get their sugar, which is great, their sugar water, because they need that for their energy. They need the bugs for protein. So we can't manufacture the bugs. Right. So we can certainly give them that nectar. And just, look how gorgeous that just is. Remember just remember when you're mixing it, don't just put some sugar in a in some cold water and stir it around. Right, you, you need have to, to boil it, it mm -hmm. so that it doesn't separate when you put it in the feeder. And then you get more like a syrup. More like, like a syrup. Like a, a light, a light, not thick, heavy syrup, but a light syrup. And that's what you want to put in here. And you can do that as often as you'd like at your house. You do want to, if they don't finish it all, you do want to clean this out, I'd say about once a week. Don't just leave the old uh, nectar sitting in there. Exactly. Uh, but, but this is absolutely beautiful is. in your garden. And again, on a, a shepherd's hook, it comes with the hook to hang it. So if you've got, already got like a hanging plant basket hook, on the eve of your porch or you know somewhere on your pergola uh, you can hang it up like that or certainly hang it over a tree branch and this is how they're going to actually get in and get the nectar they have those long beaks but they have super long tongues so if you're filling this up it holds 32 ounces of nectar or you know sugar you can mm -hmm. get pure sugar or, mm -hmm. or a, a pure nectar to put in there uh -huh. but you can take that little funnel out you can clean it, you can easily fill it with that too. And each one of the holes has this funnel. When you're finished, you simply put that funnel in. That what's What this is doing is it's going straight to the bottom. Yeah. Which is great because all they have to do is, you know, come sit here, eat real quickly and then go. And as again, as my mother said, if you're gonna put 
uh, sugar water in there, make, make it, it a little, little sweeter. sweeter. Then they don't have to feed as often, but they're also going to come back and, you know, just like hummingbirds do. Because they have a little, well, they don't really have teeth. But they right. have a sweet tooth, if yes, you know what I mean. Yes, they do. <laughs> so uh, you'll have lots of hummingbirds, and hopefully they'll uh, hang around your place longer if you've got the feeders out because they like, they're kind of a little bit territorial, and they like when that once they find a yard that has a place to feed, they'll stay there and they'll build their little nests. Nothing is cuter than tiny baby hummingbirds in a tiny little so nest. So adorable. Like the size of a walnut. So cute, that little nest. So uh, not very many left to go around in the clear. We also have the red. Choose the one that you'd like. These are all hand-blown glass. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Easy to clean, easy to refill, and they are brand new today. From Evergreen, which is a company that brings us lovely uh, decorative pieces for your yard. There are many more of them on QVC.com. Thank you, Ginger. Thank you. Great to all see you, honey. Pleasure. Have a wonderful morning. Uh, coming up at the end of the show, um, already popular, this is a half umbrella. We've never, ever offered something like this before, and this is